हेलो माई फेलो इंटरनेट वेलोर्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ रेट रिस्पेक्ट्स इन आर प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ आर्किटेक्चर इवॉल्व फ्रॉम द अर्लीस्ट स्टोन स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ गब्लिकी टेपे टू द पिरामिड्स ऑफ इजिप्ट एंड द एक्रोपोलिस इन एथेंस ऑल द वे टू द टेम्पल्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड द पगोडाज ऑफ ईस्ट एशिया इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी शेल कंटिन्यू दिस एंड डिस्कस हाउ द राइज ऑफ क्रिस्टियनिटी इन यूरोप द राइज ऑफ इस्लाम इन द मिडल ईस्ट and the rise of buddhism in east asia evolved architecture in the middle ages and how the renaissance would change architecture for the future so without any further ado let us begin the rise and spread of christian architecture in the middle ages was a transformative period that witnessed the evolution of architectural styles and the widespread construction of churches cathedrals and religious structures across europe and beyond After the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century, Christian architecture began to take on unique regional characteristics. In Western Europe, the Romanesque style emerged during the 10th to 12th centuries, characterized by thick walls, rounded arches, and sturdy pillars. Prominent examples include the Durham Cathedral in England and the Santiago de Compostela in Spain. Southern Europe saw the flourishing of Byzantine architecture, influenced by Eastern Roman traditions. The Hagia Sophia in Constantinople, now Istanbul, serves as a remarkable example of Byzantine architecture with its massive dome and intricate mosaics. In Eastern Europe, the spread of Christianity was closely tied to architectural developments. The Kievan Rus adopted Byzantine influences, exemplified by the Saint Sophia Cathedral in Kiev, Ukraine. Northern Europe witnessed the emergence of Gothic architecture. during the 12th to 16th centuries notable examples include chartres cathedral in france and canterbury cathedral in england featuring pointed arches ribbed walls and flying buttresses scandinavia and the balkans also embraced christian architecture in scandinavia stave churches like the ernst stave church in norway blended indigenous building techniques with christian symbolism The Balkans showcased Byzantine and Orthodox Christian influences visible in monasteries such as Studenica in Serbia. The sack of Constantinople in 1204 during the Fourth Crusade marked a significant event in the spread of Christian architecture as Western European influence began to shape the city's architectural landscape blending elements of the Byzantine and Romanesque styles. This period of cultural exchange laid the foundation for the later emergence of Renaissance architecture in Europe. Christian architecture during the Middle Ages not only served religious functions but also contributed to the cultural and artistic identity of each region, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to inspire architectural innovation today. The rise of Islam had a profound influence on the architectural styles of the Middle East, shaping the region's landscape. with magnificent mosques palaces and madrasas across diverse geographical and cultural contexts islamic architecture showcased both unity and diversity in design in mesopotamia the abbasid caliphate established the city of baghdad as its capital in the 8th century known for its circular plan and impressive architectural achievements the great mosque of samara with its spiral minaret is a striking example of mesopotamian architecture persia modern day iran witnessed the fusion of islamic and persian architectural traditions giving rise to breathtaking structures like the imam mosque in isfahan adorned with intricate tile work and unique double shelled domes arabia the birthplace of islam introduced the world to the iconic design of the mosque exemplified by prophet's mosque in medina and the great mosque of mecca showcasing grand courtyards and distinctive minarets the maghreb encompassing northern african regions adopted islamic architecture in structures like the great mosque of cairo in tunisia characterized by horseshoe arches and decorative motifs egypt with its rich history witnessed the construction of landmarks like the mosque of ibn tulun in cairo showcasing unique spiral minarets and open courtyards ottoman anatolia and the balkans saw the rise of ottoman empire renowned for its architectural marvels 
like the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, which was converted into a mosque and later became a symbol of the empire. Central Asian regions, including Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, featured stunning madrasas like the Registan in Samarkand, adorned with intricate tile work and grand facade. Islamic India showcased a fusion of Persian and Indian architectural elements seen in structures like the Taj Mahal in Agra, known for its breathtaking marble design and Persian-style gardens. The spread of Islam across these regions not only influenced architectural styles, but also led to the development of unique and awe-inspiring structures that continue to be celebrated for their cultural and artistic significance. Islamic architecture remains a testament to the creativity and the innovation of Muslim architects and craftsmen throughout history. The Silk Road, a vast network of trade routes connecting the East and West, played a pivotal role in the exchange of ideas, cultures, and architectural styles during the Middle Ages. This extensive trade network facilitated the transmission of architectural innovations, materials, and designs across a multitude of regions. As merchants and travelers traversed the Silk Route, they not only exchanged goods, but also shared architectural knowledge leading to a rich tapestry of architectural styles. This cultural exchange is particularly evident in the Middle Eastern and Central Asian regions, where Islamic and Persian architectural elements mingled with the local styles. The result was a creation of magnificent structures such as the Samanid Mausoleum in Bukhara, Uzbekistan, blending Islamic geometric patterns with Zoroastrian motifs, representing the confluence of cultures along this ancient trade route. Buddhism had a profound impact on architectural styles in East Asia, leaving a lasting legacy of temples, monasteries, and pagodas. In Central Asia, the influence of Buddhism can be observed in structures like Shurun Bumbagar Monastery in Mongolia, characterized by its intricate woodwork and sacred relics. China, as a significant center of Buddhist influence, features the renowned Longmen Grotos, where thousands of Buddhist statues and carvings adorn the cave walls, showcasing the devotion to Buddhist art and architecture. Tibet's unique Buddhist architectural style is exemplified by the Potala Palace in Lhasa, a massive hillside complex that combines Tibetan, Indian, and Chinese architectural elements. In India, where Buddhism originated, the ancient Ajanta Caves feature exquisite rock-cut Buddhist temples adorned with stunning murals. Southeast Asia embraced Buddhism with structures like Cambodia's Angkor Wat, a majestic temple complex reflecting the influence of Hindu and Buddhist architectural styles. In Korea, the Bulguksa Temple stands as a prime example of Buddhist architecture marked by its elegant design and serene surroundings. Lastly, in Japan, Buddhism significantly influenced architectural styles with temples like Kyoto's Kinkaku-ji showcasing the country's unique blend of Zen Buddhism and traditional Japanese design. Buddhism's impact on East Asian architecture is profound, contributing to the creation of structures that transcend time and continue to inspire awe and reverence. Maritime Southeast Asia a region comprising numerous islands and coastal areas exhibited a diverse and dynamic range of architectural styles during the Middle Ages. The architecture of this region was influenced by various factors, including trade, religion, and indigenous cultures. The seafaring communities of maritime Southeast Asia created unique architectural forms, often utilizing materials such as bamboo, wood and thatch during the abundance of these resources. Stilt houses built over water to mitigate flooding and maximize ventilation are a notable architectural feature. Traditional wooden structures like the Ruma Adat in Indonesia and the Balai Adat in Malaysia reflect the indigenous knowledge of sustainable building practices. The influence of Hinduism and Buddhism is evident in the construction of temple complexes like Borobudur in Indonesia and Prambanan in Java. Additionally, the region's Islamic architecture, characterized by intricately detailed mosques and Islamic schools, demonstrated the fusion of local styles with Islamic influences. 
the Middle Ages in maritime Southeast Asia witnessed a vibrant architectural tapestry that blended indigenous wisdom with external cultural and religious influences, resulting in structures that remain a testament to the region's rich heritage. African architecture during the Middle Ages was marked by a rich and diverse array of styles and building techniques that varied across the continent's vast and culturally distinct regions. In West Africa, the ancient city of Timbuktu in Mali flourished as a center of Islamic learning and architecture, boasting mud-brick mosques with distinctive Sahelian architectural features. In North Africa, the Great Mosque of Kairouan in Tunisia stands as one of the oldest and most influential mosques in the Islamic world, showcasing Islamic architectural motifs and designs. In East Africa, the Swahili coast witnessed the construction of impressive coral stone buildings, including the Gedi ruins in Kenya and the island town of Lamu, featuring intricately carved wooden doors and balconies. In Southern Africa, the Great Zimbabwe ruins serve as a testament to the advanced stone masonry skills of the Shona people, showcasing massive stone walls and structures. Indigenous architectural practices such as the circular mud brick houses of the Dogon people in Mali and the distinctive beehive huts of the Zulu in southern Africa also thrived during this era. African architecture during the Middle Ages reflects the continent's rich cultural heritage, blending indigenous building techniques with influences from Islam, Christianity and other external sources, resulting in a mosaic of architectural marvels that continue to inspire admiration and scholarly study. Pre-Columbian American architecture encompasses a vast and diverse array of architectural styles, reflecting the ingenuity and cultural richness of indigenous civilization across the Americas before the arrival of Columbus. In Mesoamerica, civilizations like the Maya, Aztec, and Zapotec created monumental structures including step pyramids, temples, and ball courts. The Mayan city of Tikal featured iconic temples rising above the dense jungle canopy, while the Aztecs built the Templo Mayor at the height of Tenochtitlan, present-day Mexico City. In the Andean region, the Inca Empire left its mark with intricate stone constructions like Machu Picchu, a marvel of precision stone masonry and agricultural engineering. The ancient Puebloan people in the southwestern United States crafted impressive cliff dwellings such as Mesa Verde, seamlessly blending architecture with natural landscape. Throughout North America, various indigenous tribes created diverse architectural forms from the longhouses of the Iroquois to the earth lodges of the inhabitants of the plains. Pre-Columbian architecture is a testament to remarkable craftsmanship, engineering skills, and spiritual significance that defined indigenous cultures across the Americas for thousands of years, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire awe and admiration. The Renaissance was a pivotal period in the history of architecture that brought about profound and lasting changes to the field. It marked a departure from the architectural styles of the Middle Ages and ushered in a new era characterized by innovation, humanism, and a revival of classical antiquity. Here are some ways in which the Renaissance changed architecture forever. Return to Classical Antiquity Renaissance architects looked to the architecture of ancient Greece and Rome for inspiration. They studied and emulated classical forms including columns, pediments, and arches, which became fundamental elements of Renaissance architecture. The revival of classical aesthetics led to the development of architectural orders such as the Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian orders. Emphasis on proportion and symmetry Renaissance architects placed a strong emphasis on proportion and symmetry in their design. They used mathematical principles to create harmonious and balanced compositions, resulting in the buildings that appeared visually pleasing and intellectually satisfying. Use of Perspective 
the development of linear perspective in paintings by artists like Filippo Brunelleschi and Leon Battista Alberti had a profound impact on the architectural representation. Architects began using perspective drawings to convey three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional plane, allowing for more accurate and realistic depictions in their designs. Domed structures The Renaissance saw the development of innovative dome structures such as the Dome of the Florence Cathedral designed by Filippo Brunelleschi and the Dome of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome designed by Michelangelo. These domes became the iconic architectural achievements of the era. Integration of Art and Architecture Renaissance architects collaborated closely with artists, including painters and sculptors, to create buildings that were not only functional but also works of art. Facades were adorned with intricate sculptures and decorative elements. Human-Centered Design Humanism, a key intellectual movement of the Renaissance, emphasized by the importance of the individual and human experience. This perspective influenced architecture, leading to the designs that catered to human comfort and scale, including spacious interiors, well-proportioned rooms, and rational layouts. Development of Urban Planning The Renaissance witnessed the development of urban planning principles that emphasized the organization of cities, streets, and public squares. City squares, such as the Piazza del Compo in Siena, became central gathering places and focal points of urban design. Spread of Renaissance Ideas The Renaissance architectural ideas and styles spread throughout Europe, leading to the emergence of regional variations like the French Renaissance and the English Renaissance. These styles continued to evolve and shape architectural practice for centuries to come. Overall, the Renaissance changed architecture forever by introducing a renewed appreciation for classical aesthetics, a focus on human-centered design, and innovative structural and artistic techniques. It laid the foundations for the architectural developments of subsequent periods and continues to influence architectural thinking and practice to this day. Well, that's a wrap for this episode. Join us in next week's episode, where we shall discuss how the Industrial Revolution changed the way buildings were built forever, and also the many artistic and cultural influences that have shaped modern architecture. Until then, please like and share the video if you liked it, and comment down below about any other topics that you would like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. This is your host Aryan Sharma, signing off.